Hello and welcome to the qualifying final episode of The Swoop, brought to you by La Trobe Financial. Well, the suburb of Collingwood is coming alive as we get set to take on the Cats in a massive game at the MCG on Friday night. Paul, tell us a bit about your design you've painted here. Um, I've gone with like a graffiti slash sign writing kind of a feel just because it's such a public spot I wanted it to be bold and obviously the black and white colours you, you want to use the, the boldness of the contrast there so I've just put it quite simple go pies you know what it's talking about I mean yeah I have a business called Urban Enhancement and basically it's just like a mural company doing uh, installations for restaurants or people's houses or businesses or councils. Family goes for Collingwood, so it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I'm a Collingwood supporter by, uh, it, it's inherited, I don't have a choice. Like, I, I probably still would go for Collingwood, but it's, uh, it's a family thing. Back at the club, the boys have been up and about on the track as they work on getting through the Cats' watertight defence. They're the best defensive side in the home and away and they've proven that over over the last couple of years they get back really deep to support their defence so we understand that there's going to be times when we might we might control territory but we, we might not be hitting the scoreboard as, as well as we'd like. Let's now have a look at the team to take on Geelong and there are three big inclusions. Jaden Stevenson returns for his first AFL game since our win over Melbourne in the Queen's birthday match. Jordan Degoe is also back he hasn't played in the AFL since suffering hamstring soreness after the loss to Richmond in round 19. Still, side bottom is the other inclusion. He returns after recovering from a nasty groin injury. I guess the first few days post-surgery, um, maybe there was a little bit of doubt, but um, yeah, once probably last Wednesday, a week after it came around, I was yeah, pretty confident that um, I was right. They were wrapped up for a few days so that was probably causing me more pain than the actual yeah, the actual injury itself. So. Let's have a look at how the boys line up. Jordan Roughhead looks set for a return to the back line after being named at full back. Darcy Moore at centre half back. Scott Pendlebury has been named in the centre for game 300. Brody Grundy set to be a key player in the ruck. The returnees, side bottom Dugowie and Stevenson, have all been named in the forward line. Brody Majacek at centre half forward. The bench is Noble, Cal Brown, Thomas and Wills. The emergencies, Sharon Berg, Varco, Magin and Dacos. So we're all set for a massive Friday night qualifying final against Geelong at the MCG. First bounce is 7.50pm, but there's plenty to do before that. Our early bird function at the Holden Centre starts at 4pm. If you can't get to the game, it's live on Channel 7, Fox Footy and the AFL app. Go Pies!